I don't really know how to make a YouTube video, so I'm just kind of learning right now. Um, but I felt like today uh, when I woke up that the Lord wanted me to make this YouTube video. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber. I don't really care about being a YouTuber or anything like that. But I felt like that God wanted me to get some information out and the first thing that came in my mind was YouTube. And so I'm making this video. Um, if you are a believer, I would say pray and ask the Lord just to open your eyes. I can even pray before I start talking. Um, but I would say pray and ask the Lord to open your eyes to what he's trying to show you in his word and what he's tr what he's saying through me um and then also i would pray I, I would say if you're an unbeliever if you're just someone that just found this video that's not even like really you know searching for it i would just say have an open mind have an open heart um and for americans like within our culture to have an open mind is like it has limitations and it has boundaries and it has things where or it has it has these boundaries but if you go beyond the boundary of what i thought was an open mind that's too far i would say have an open mind with no boundaries that's how that's how um crazy i feel like or just how um uh, not used to or you just uncommon i would say unheard of really i would say this kind of talk is so yeah so this morning um i listened to a sermon by a pastor in wisconsin um he's my cousin's pastor and he was just talking about um like how coronavirus relates to the church and how it relates to believers and um what he was saying was like really convicting to me and i feel like the past few days the lord has been just constantly trying to draw my attention back to him draw my attention back to him um before the quarantine started for me i was like literally in mexico um doing what you do in mexico like swimming eating everything people bring you free drinks because of the plan my mom has with the resort so it's just like comfort times a thousand fun times a thousand everything i want everything you know except like a husband at the moment anyways um it's just everything and um when we got back i was like oh regular life but i'm still not at home in memphis and i'm in st louis right now and i'm like my mom still pays for all the food i don't really have to pay for anything i'm saving all my money still comfort times a hundred and so I think after I got back and just with that habit, I wasn't really praying as much, but I was still reading. Um, and it's always good to grow in reading the word. And so anyways, I just feel like my routine and my comfort or just my lifestyle of, you know, routine of spending time with God and stuff has just fallen. And so um, when I heard this message, I was like, bro, God been trying to tell me this all week. And like, like as God was trying to, as he was speaking to me all week, I would feel and hear his voice. And then I would just choose to do what I wanted. I would choose to disobey. I would choose to like ignore the promptings of the holy spirit and so i decided uh this one like god just did the work hallelujah he did it amen hallelujah he did the work and he just caused me to really humble myself uh um yeah through his own word and so we're gonna be looking at this verse um i'm pretty sure it's second chronicles but i didn't write two chronicles but it's second chronicles 7 14 I have my Bible right here. If my people, and this this um version I'm reading from is New King James. So Second Chronicles 714, New King James Version says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So me, I studied biochemistry in college. 
um, I remember the first science class, I think I was in like seventh grade, and we talked about hypotheses and even just if then statements or like conditional statements um, in science. And so with a hypothesis, with a hypothesis, you would say, if this kind of thing happens, then that means this is going to happen as well. And it's like, it's a guess. Nothing's concrete with that. But with the word of God, if you believe that his word is foundational truth,